Hello AC Universe and welcome to Canada Crossing. My name is Danny and today we are on my island of Fire Cove. This is our Elegant Core Island. We are almost done it, believe it or not, people. I'm so excited. So I wanted to give you a little update on what we've been doing. So this is our neighborhood section. I managed to move all the houses where I want them, but we still have to finish decorating the yards. I think we'll probably do that during streams because it's something fun to do during stream and it's nice to get your input on what you think everybody's yard should look like. I do want to customize a bunch of their houses to make them a little bit more similar. And then lastly what I did was move the second tier neighborhood up, well it's actually in the third tier, up here. I don't quite know if the path is all going to be like this, this is just testing around. So I moved the last four houses up here. Oh. I guess I'm five stars. Um, the last four houses up here, so we can decorate them as well. This is more like the condo kind of area, kind of close together. So they're just gonna have one kind of joint area up here. But I tried to keep it very symmetrical with the stairways like this. And I thought it turned out really cool. And then I just have a little path here to go to the secret beach. So I just put some stone custom patterns down there to just finish that off. So that's basically the whole neighborhood area that we have to finish decorating. So that will be happening, so that's exciting. But for today, I did want to finish off the beaches in front of my house. So I have these houses here, and then I moved my house up here at the front and just did a bit of decorating in the yard. I didn't have a lot of room. So I just, I do like the way it is, like beachfront property. I thought it was a good place for my house to go. Did a little customization of my house, and I think it suits the neighborhood quite well. And then across, I did a park. Very simple little pond, but I think it looks really cute. I'm really happy with that. So what today I want to do is do a little ice cream shop, ice cream truck right here on the beach, sitting area. It's going to be really simple, but really cute, I think. So let's get started. All right, so I thought it would be really cool to do an ice cream truck on the beach kind of vibe going on on this island. You know, it's set in early, well, I guess more mid-spring, so it's kind of getting warm and people want to uh, get cooled off by some ice cream. And we have those new trucks and I thought this would be great. So we got a custom design. Actually, I had it made or asked to just have it made I asked my friend April, who's Honey Land Horizons here on YouTube, so you definitely check her out. Her link will be in the description. And she designed the custom code that you're going to see coming up on the truck, so definitely get that, cause especially going into the summer, the spring, you're going to want it. So I'm placing this fence along to kind of border off the boardwalk. I thought going black and white would kind of keep in the elegant core thing and I don't hate it but the whole time I started placing furniture I kind of got the vibe it wasn't going to work out for me so we do end up changing the fence out and I'm quite happy but just understand it was I wanted to keep with the elegant core theme which is why it's there for so much longer than it probably should have been and I didn't want to go to pastel everywhere. But I also thought too, this is a fun kind of boardwalk area. So why don't we just incorporate some fun into the island? Because it is so black and white. And well, there's pink too, obviously, because we're in cherry blossom season. Even though, as you can see while I'm building it, I'm not currently in cherry blossom season because I had to time travel a bit. So here's the pattern I was talking about. Isn't it awesome? I have it right there on the screen for you. So definitely check it out, download it. There's the code. And now I'm just going to add kind of to it. So it's like normally you think, yeah, I'm just getting ice cream from the ice cream truck, but I want to kind of create a whole ice cream parlor kind of area as well with it. Cause we have a lot of cool stuff to go with that now. I really wanted to use that stand, but I just could not make it work anywhere. 
and so finally I just got rid of it. I think I might be tried a few times, but spoiler alert, it never, I think, ends up in the final, the final plans. I did record this a few days ago, so it's kind of, some things are a bit surprising to me, and I didn't get to the voiceover till today, so I'm recording this the day after I did Last Crosser Standing on EJ Play's channel, so if you have not checked that out, you should go check that out and see how um, I did and how much fun it was. We had so much fun doing the competition, so definitely check that out. I will link his channel as well in the description, and you should definitely subscribe to him. So I do customize these tables and chairs to the light blue. I think it looks really nice. Very ice cream par parlory, and of course my wooden partitions. It wouldn't be a Canada Crossing build without some wooden partitions. And I never had a chance to use this version before, um, but it perfectly ties in with all the ice cream uh, items, so it worked out very well. And overall, like I said, I was struggling to keep it elegant core. And maybe I didn't really succeed at that, I'm not gonna pretend that I did, but I still think it's a fun beach build. And it's so hard to decorate beaches. I, I don't know anyone who's like, yeah, I love decorating beaches. And while doing this build, I think I kind of realized why. It's not necessarily that you can't terraform or you can't put like the in-game pathing or anything like that. And you're limited to what you can plant. I think it's more the size. Like there's so many spots in the beach that you only have a few spaces wide. So you can't really plan anything out. It makes it very difficult. So that's why I think I really struggle with them. And this is my island that I never reset. So I've had these same beaches since the start of the game and I've always struggled with them. And this island has been a swamp core, it's been a cottage core, it's been a Four Seasons Island. Like this, this particular island has been a lot of different themes and I always run into the same issues. So ultimately, yes, I did decide to take down the fence, the black fence, and use a mixture of two. So I really like the, the wedding fence and all the customizations, so that's in the middle. And then the park fence comes in a pink and blue pattern, or pink and blue variation. And it just matched all the ice cream stuff, and plus the custom design that Honeyland Horizon made for me. So I mean, come on, it's, it was a match made in heaven. So. I ended up putting it all through and I think it actually turned out really nice. I This is one fence I probably thought I would never use and yet here we are and I'm quite happy with that. I decided to throw some of the festival banners up here just because to kind of create more of an entrance and the colors were right on so I thought okay and then these are some ice cream um, items that we get from red so I thought let's just have them on the table I mean it's kind of silly to just have them at the table but I think it just adds to the whole ice cream vibe right because normally they wouldn't just be sitting on a table especially the way they're sitting but you know what suspend your your belief a little bit and they're just there you know Banners too come with a customization that is already ice cream, so that is not a custom design, that's actually one of the variants you can just get by customizing it yourself, so that was great, so that saved me a lot of time. And then I thought too, I'm going to switch these sofas around, just so you can actually see them and appreciate them more, even though realistically it might make sense the other way. And then I also customized these street lights, with, and that's just a sable pattern. All right, so I jumped ahead a bit. Let's go have a look at our ice cream boardwalk badanza. 
Sure. That's what we're calling it. I really like the blue customization of the table and chairs here. I think it looks really cool, so I love that. And I wanted the whole thing to be blues and pinks, right? So setting these couches here and this customization of the light posts, I think worked really well. And then of course we have the actual ice cream truck, which is awesome. Thank you again, Honeyland Horizons, for this custom design. It's epic. And then just setting all the ice cream stuff and kind of a little vendor place here to buy your ice cream. Finishing off the boardwalk, of course, more blues and pinks, and then we already had this done for Cap'n. So, let me know what you think about this design. It was a bit of a simpler one for me, but you know what? We're always struggling with beaches, so I thought I would still include it as part of a video, just doing a quick little video, and I actually really like it. So, again, let me know. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.